Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Marco and today we are back with some more One Piece episodes 239 and 240. Bro, last two episodes were crazy just like every episode in this arc is super enjoyable. I am having such a great time watching One Piece right now. Like, as I mentioned before, it's slowly climbing the ranks to be one of my favorite animes. But I really can't judge it yet because of so many episodes. But yeah, now the people in Water 7 think that Straw Hats are after Iceberg and that it was our plan all along. But even Iceberg was confused. He was like, is this the payback from the yesterday about, uh, about the news about the ship and everything or were they after one of my possessions and he said are those pirates connected to the government so is that implying that government also wants something from iceberg and that's why they sent those guys i don't really know what's the deal with that but I find that very interesting. But yeah, Luffy got attacked by Frankie. Of course, we obviously fucked up the, the, the Frankie house and uh, his uh, subordinates and he was mad. But fuck him, honestly. Uh, his design, obviously, is really interesting. Like the combination of Popeye arms and uh, Ace Ventura lookalike. He's a cyborg. He's a damn cyborg. He who is breathing fire. He has like machine gun in his arm. Can launch his arm. Really, really strong opponent. So Iceberg was telling the truth. And they were fighting in the shipyard. And I feel so bad. Because those shipwrights are now there. And it looks like they are attacking Luffy. But Frankie is also... They're enemies, so we might have an unexpected team-up of Frankie and Luffy, who knows. But it really sucks because of Robin, we were put in this very, very rough spot right now, where we need to defend ourselves without even knowing what happened. This is going to be so interesting, man. There is also the stuff with the Aqua Laguna, Storm Surge that submerge the whole city and yeah uh, one of my patrons mr line told me man oda is such a goat he told me that uh, aqua when aqua laguna happens the water level near long ring long land drops and that allows tonjit and his tribe to move to another island that is such a nice detail that the, doesn't have any effect on the story. It just goes to show you how much Oda cares about creating his world. And I really love and respect that. So yeah, the vibes were rough, obviously, because of the Usopp. Never saw the crew like this. Like, it's very odd feeling, but it is what it is. I like the Chopper and Saji event to notify Usopp about Aqua Laguna. I'm interested to see if they're going to show us that scene. I would really like to see that. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump into episode 239. Holy shit, guys. We got to see Robin. Who is basically saying that she doesn't want to see us, or rather that she isn't going to see us ever again. Why the fuck did she suddenly change? There is a possibility that this is all a facade, that this is not a true Robin's feelings. Like, the way she reacted when she first uh, heard those words cp9 she was shocked like it was something unexpected to her another thing is that lady kokoro mentioned the world government and the frankie who would have thought that we would have <laughs> frankie 
talking to uh, Gwenny Kokoro in a bar, bro, and that they will give us such an info. They mentioned that Corgi guy, but no. So, what I got from that it, is that CP9 might be a government's organization, but the thing is with Robin, why would she be with them? What the fuck, man? This might be a stretch, but... I keep mentioning this figure that was hugging Robin in one of those filler episodes that they perhaps threatened to kill someone important to her and that she has to obey them or something like that. We are getting some tiny little pieces but I am even more confused right now, I'm not gonna lie. Iceberg has something that world government wants. And they have this secret organization who is doing the jobs in the shadows and Robin is connected to them. And she is fully aware what she is doing to Luffy and the others. She saw the news and she told Sanji and Chopper the truth and how things are and that she plans to leave. And they mentioned that they want to attack Iceberg again tonight so they will attempt to kill him one more time i don't know man it's it's really interesting because <laughs> some of these things really don't make sense especially the part of robin working with that organization and if they are from the government robin has a bounty like what the fuck that's such a contradiction that's very very confusing so that's why i think that they might be using robin to like blame the straw heads but is that literally everything i don't really know it seems like robin knows about them because of obvious reaction she had when she heard cp9 it's not like like they pulled up, you know what I mean, and just picked a random straw head. It was Robin it intentionally, I believe. I can't tell what the fuck is happening exactly, but boy is this good, bro. This is so amazing. Uh, yeah, that guy Frankie is apparently running on cola, and he he's a goofball but he is strong as fuck i have to admit that attack that he did the last one not only that it like destroyed that ship and half of the shipyard or basically the whole shipyard it also created a chance for us to escape luffy confronted iceberg and he could not believe that robin actually did it like luffy is mind boggled right now about why would Robin do something like that, just like I am. Like, what the fuck, Robin? It's really so juicy, there is so many things to think about, man. <sighs> Great stuff, guys. I will end the uh, video here for today. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing, leave a like, comment, all that good stuff as always. Check out my Patreon page if you want to see full and early reactions. I will be seeing you very soon with another video, until then, take care and have a nice day, see ya guys.